What is your take on what happened um, last night in the game? We're showing a clip right now. Things start to get His heated Gabe between Brown. Gabe Brown and the coach. Hey, get back you here. And he says, where hey. do you think you're going? Hey. Grabs his hey. arm, grabs his jersey. Get off me, old man. He swooshes it off like a two-year-old does every time you try to say, get over here and finish your food. They smack your hand. I want to say something, Pilar, That's, what before do you, you even throw this. I'm listening this morning to the Morning Woodward Show. The Morning Wood Shh, Word Show. And stick, I wanted to jump through my app. I'm listening on the app. I'm trying to prep for the show. I'm doing everything. And stick is on there saying... No man's going to lay his hands on me. Um, you know, stick. Hi, buddy. Hey, I'm in the fish tank. Hey. <laughs> hey. It's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, likewise, well, man. Well, you uh, re re recapture uh, this morning. Tell us a little bit about your feeling about a coach or anyone putting their hands on you. You know, I just feel uh, everybody's different, right? And everybody has different boundaries. And my boundaries is physical touch. Like, you can yell at me. You can coach me hard. You can come down on me when I screw up on the court. But the minute you lay hands on me, you're indicating to me that you're willing to get physical. And if you're willing to get physical with me, I'm willing to get physical back at the drop of a hat with anybody. And it's kind of, I related it to what Jawan Howard said about the Maryland coach. Like, listen, I'm from Southside Chicago. You start walking at me like that, I'm coming at you. I'm from Detroit. I was born seven miles shy of Wasi, right? You come at me like that, you're going to get turned around and get smacked. Jawan and Mark Kershaw are two grown men. This is a young boy. Which makes it even worse. No, you can't be grabbing it. young boys. Yep. <laughs> he is the you, head coach. I think he, no, you can't. You cannot be. Six years, twenty-six years on the sideline. Great, gives you no excuse to touch another human being. Sixteen Big Ten championships. So, no excuse to touch another human championship. being. National championship, Hall of Fame, Tom Izzo, Mateen Cleaves. Great. So he okay, names but let me son ask. Uh, after Mateen right, Cleaves, all right, all right, all right, I'm done. Let me I'll ask replay you. the clip, and I'm going to talk you through this, right? Because here's the thing. Yeah. In 2021, you can't coach like – you can't co – there's, there's a thing, but the kid disrespectfully walks away. Right. Now, listen, Ray here – now, I get it what passive-aggressive is or whatever, but the, right there, he's got it – what Tom would have done or should have done is is move him to the back because the thing is, he didn't grab him. He grabbed him like he was – He the kid disrespected him. That's the way society is these days, right? You asked me the question, Stick, would I let – like, if Scotty Bowman grabbed me like that, yeah, he was allowed, right? But again, like a Mike Babcock, no, absolutely not. But it's a different relationship, and it's a different respect of what it is. But if I disrespected Scotty Bowman like that, you better best bet my old man was going to come down out of the stands and yeah. slap me across the face. So the disrespect starts with the culture of what it goes back to, the Jekyll and Hyde about... The whole thing I'm saying about culture is a different way to coach. Now he's got to evolve. And I agree Tom's passive aggressive and stuff like this. But that just sort of was the epitome of what he's dealing with the whole season. And it's communication. So it's it's coaching in 2021. And there's a difference because that's not putting your hands on a kid. That's no, a kid walking not. away from you, disrespecting you. Yeah. And you've had that's enough. Bullshit. So the, 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 I thought it was way worse. That's not it. That's, that's, I'd be, if I was, see, and this goes to show where the locker room is because if that, if somebody in there and it's more of the Michigan locker room, I'm just speculating, or our locker room, somebody else is grabbing that kid because that doesn't go on. There's well, a buffer uh, and there's no Mike, buffer. Mike, our intern, brought up a great point. Like last week when um, when Jalen or Jawan Howard did that, there was, man, he's not setting a good example for the kids. How, how can he, the, he be that leader, that example, if he's getting in fights with other coaches? But if you're grabbing your kids, that's setting a good example for your kids? But, well, hold on, though. I feel and two different situations. Right, when you you're, right, right. Well, you're sticking up for your program and your kid that's a different situation and, and you keep also, that on was, ground and i don't have a problem with what jawan did i do have a problem with what izzo did i got a problem also, with, with grounded more than what, what izzo did and i i Fair agree enough. all the way around here i agree with with stick when he's saying i don't i don't disagree with what jawan did i mean that because that's you know man to man it's not 
you know, coach to student or coach to athlete. But at the same time, Stick, it's not like he grabbed his jersey up by the neck or anything. He grabbed his arm. The kid was walking away. There's got to be some type of, hey, I'm your coach. You need to respect they me, right? They were walking into a locker room where they're just going to go have a meeting. It's not like you weren't going to have his attention forever. <laughs> like, you guys don't get the point, too. but he's the coach and he's Tom Izzo. And it's the thing, too. It's not some bum or whatever like this. The fact that the kid doesn't stop and let Tom ream his ass right there is where the problem starts because Izzo should have... It's not about all that. It's the fact that the kid felt that he was entitled enough to disrespect Tom Izzo. And Tom Izzo them. feels he's entitled enough to grab what, a kid. What did he do? And, and he then... grabbed his tail. He grabbed it like I'm not oh, that tired. He grabbed his arm. His arm. Okay, he grabbed his arm. And like pulled him back. It wasn't, oh my it wasn't god! Just you a, guys are so soft. Tug. You oh. know that, that that it's the whole god. thing about coaching or whatever like that. It's the same thing as parenting. You make right? We sick. all parent and coach differently yep. and stuff like that. And I look at that as that is a more just disrespectful move. I didn't even notice like. Izzo grabbing him. I thought you guys were like he choked him out and he did whatever. <laughs> you guys are so soft. No Everybody's kidding. so soft in society these days. See, about I think this the softest I, thing you can do is let someone physically manhandle you and do nothing. To me, that's soft. That it's wasn't a manhandling. That was, listen, and if you look at it, the fact that Brown yelled at Izzo the minute Izzo started, that's where it all started. So the minute you do that to a guy like that, no, you're talking about so to me, the culture of that program is off and things have to be changed because he doesn't have the respect and he had to grab his kid. You should never have to grab your kid or whatever because you know what the shit is? They if I gotta grab you, you before if I gotta grab you out there, right. I'm beating the living crap out of you in the dressing room. But that's why I don't coach. <laughs> <laughs> but your kid does. But that he, he's not me. Yeah, I mean, what, what would And your that's kid the whole do? point is where his mentality, where I would ask him, and that's a great question, Matt, because I will ask a UCLA head hockey coach as he gets into it, what, what are the communications? Because that's the one thing. There has to be a common ground of old and new. But at the same time, I do want to, and I want to ask Art a couple questions on this too, because you have seven kids. I'd like to see what, what you would do if one of your kids acted this way. But, um, you know, at... At the I would same have smacked time, the snot out of my kid. If that, well, if I, Brown I know was my kid do. after the game, I mean, I, uh, I'm I know, making I know him issue would do, a public but you're apology. his father, and that's okay. But it's a coach Isn't who is a Tom father Isn't Tom Izzo figure. at the college like that when we're talking Michigan State and we're talking these programs where you send those? We're not talking the friggin' guy who's coaching your kid in hockey like that got his friggin' thing out of Cracker Jacks, his coaching license, never to put his hand on a kid and whatever like this. That situation is that's an so adult you this, then. That's where an adult you situation. Where where would you well, say that's too much? Well, but let me ask you guys this too. Would you fault Gabe for saying also wanting to be I, like, hey, don't air this out in public. We're going to the locker room. Talk to me in there. Right. Well, I, there I, I'm not that saying too. that the Tom is not his business. Tom Izzo is is wrong in the fact to start yelling at the kid there to give him if he, he thought the kid was gonna yell, yell back at him at him. all day. Just don't no. touch him. <laughs> That's, oh, it. That's it. I, 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 stick, I, I get it. I get it. But mm -hmm. I was brought up a lot differently. And it depended on who that coach was. And it, he didn't oh. grab him as a malicious. He grabbed it at, don't disrespect me, and I'm still talking to you. There's a whole different way of grabbing something. If I wanted to, hey, if I want to discipline my kids, there's a whole different way to discipline Oh, believe your me, kids. my dad, all he had to do was reach for his belt, and but, I was running. But, like, but dads are different. That wasn't that physical. That was an abuse of a friggin' athlete or abuse of a student or of a uh, coach, right? The thing is, is that if, if stuff like that happened in the real thing, the kids cut or the kids traded or whatever like that. Yeah, I, I yeah. think... Uh, I, the way that I look at it is this. You're playing a professional game. It's sports and everything like that. If that's his father, and I get where DMAC is coming from, Izzo is everyone's father at Michigan State, and I completely understand that. The difference is, is that technically that's considered work. Like, we're at work. You know, we're working as a team. If someone did that to me at work, hi, Adam. If someone did that to me at work, we're either fighting or I'm quitting. That's it. You do not lay your hands on somebody. No, but, just, well, right, Art, you, that's your you, uh, sorry, man. But I'm your I was saying, Matt, coach. Let me Art. ask you this. Let <laughs> that's me ask a father, Matt a question. That's a fault. Go ahead. You've got three daughters yeah. who all play sports, right? You expect nothing but the best. And knowing you, I would expect you to also teach them respect, respect for your authority yeah, that's, that's figures. Understood. Right? It's given, right? So 
let's say one of your daughters, and it was a female coach, right? So it's not like it was a male coach. A female coach, um, you know, your your daughter had a, a bad day in volleyball. She missed the call. Um, she knew she should have been where she should have been. She should have set up the spike. She didn't. Whatever it is that they do in volleyball. And the coach wanted to discuss this was obviously heated big tournament and your daughter was like just no man up in her face no what and then walks what, away and the coach grabs her what arm level? what would you at any level ucla college at any level at any no, level no, see this isn't no, no, any no, level it we're matter. talking about tom izzo no 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 but hold on i'm just saying at any level you change the, you, be, ch you no, change the conversation should be taken in high school are you kidding me where i came from in texas high school Football was the biggest I th thing. Yeah. I thought ever. the question was about Tom Izzo. Okay, basketball. but no, I'm just asking him. I thought as a it was parent, about Tom Izzo's way of parent. coaching. Okay, so let's say that they're Not in high school. Else's. I mean, let's say that they're in college. Let's say that they're at a, a prestigious college. Okay, is Tom college. Izzo their coach? Is Tom somebody Izzo their coach? Somebody no, Tom equivalent Izzo. to Tom Izzo. So Tom Izzo's not going to be their coach because yes. they're girls. Hold on, that stick. Hold on, Tom Izzo's not going to be their coach because they're girls. But let's say a female coach equivalent a man could to coach Tom women, Izzo. Way. Well, but okay, yeah, yeah that's true. If You're that right, was my yeah. son or my daughter You're that right. acted that way in front of a but coach in college sports or whatever, like that, the first thing is I ream in his ass yep. or her ass to say, "Don't you ever disrespect yeah. your coach like that?" Because I would see that as a parent. I'm looking at it as a parent. I'm going. I'm, I agree. I'm all on the kid. So this isn't an abuse. You, you're bringing up something like somebody got a paper cut. And now you want to rush them to the hospital and stuff like this. You guys. The, no, it, it's I, circumstantial because of who you're dealing with. And I guess in life, right, when we're going to ask specific questions about does Izzo change his style? Yes, he needs to change his style because obviously he's lost respect and communication. Because I guarantee if that happened to Mateen Cleaves back in the day or any one of those Flintstones, they're standing there getting their feet faces ripped off by by talent but they're not walking away that's the issue that's the thing yes tom Izzo has to evolve may gusta on that one to answer your question but it all goes down to who that person is just like who you would let to put their hands on your kid as far as as anybody in life from your mother to your brother to your Best sitters, friend to your own. Listen, yeah. listen. That's in our locker room, in, here, in our locker room, <laughs> very hard to get a word in edgewise twice. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Very hard. <laughs> okay, well, be quiet for why one you, more second. Dominating. You don't have to dominate. Be, no, I, I'm trying to tell you what I would do. Well, I'm gonna she wait. She asked me what I would do. I know, but because here's in. the thing. Oh, you're gonna get mad at me over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Maz. Because <laughs> did you spend time in the locker room? Have you no. spent right? No. So understand the understand the point that all our kids in that locker room when we're on the anybody in that organization training staff whoever were the parental unit to to scold and not put the hands on or anything like that so if you want to talk about it's about the organization Fine. now you can go answer all the stuff you want if you think there's some relevance behind it Maz. I've already well, lost track because I, you've yelled so, so let much me ask, let but, me ask on, because it's stupid so ask the question the questions about Tom Izzo yes I'm defending Tom Izzo. So am I. Listen to me. If Gabe Brown Don't was my... Me. Would Yell you shut stick. up a minute? Yell it stick. Just shut up a minute. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's no, it's no. Wait a minute. I'm going to grab both of you guys, Gabe not Brown. by the arm, but Here, by the ear. Talk. I'm going to no, grab both of y'all by you the ear. shut up? I'm going to grab you by the ear. Tom. If I'm Gabe Brown's father, I would have come down from the stands. I would have met Izzo at the, at the door, and I would have said, bench his fucking ass. For the rest of the game, bench his ass, and then I'll take care of him at home. And I don't lay a hand on my kids. Ever. Never would. Tom Izzo, I have trusted him with my kid. I'm playing for that man because I love that man. If that man decides he wants to grab my kid by the jersey and my kid disrespects him, sit your ass down on the bench. Leave Tom Izzo alone. I don't, I'm not going to call this cancel culture. I'm not going to use any words. I'm going to say when a man like Tom Izzo, Mike Krzyzewski... Go on down the line. Even Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight went way too far. He's crazy. <laughs> so he's not a nut. even Bobby Knight. <laughs> no, I don't. He's nuts. Bobby Knight was wrong. These guys, Mike Shishevsky, uh, Coach K, Tom Izzo, John Beeline. I trust. I trust you to do what you want with my kid. I trust you. If my kid comes home and says that you're beating the shit out of him, that's another story. Agreed. 
100% agreed. And I think that, Leave that, goes us back all alone. To, that goes back to stick. Stick, we bring you on the show, and all you do is just stir the pot. You know what's stir funny? He gets mad, pot. and we're on the same side. <laughs> yeah, you know that's what I mean? That's that's all, because it's so more important that he gets his no. word in about Coach K. No, no, well, he no, was saying it from... I wanted to, I, This was my idea. I wanted to talk about it. So you can. You talk too much. I couldn't even I don't talk too much. I got good board. points about how it is. Everybody made some really excellent points. It's funny. Point I made across. the point before you did, Matt. Sorry. But he brought it up as a parent, which I really did appreciate and enjoy that as a parent, he would say to his son, Matt to just the gave coach, himself a migraine. Sit down. Give me that CBD bench freaking him. Wall. <laughs> Bench him. Sit him. Um, but stick. Yes, welcome man. to the show. But all you did, do you see what you did? That's how well, I felt this morning when I heard you, him. I you, actually just whispered to Fish. What do you expect? My job's you, done here. What do you expect <laughs> when you bring pass out the yeah, mask? What do you expect when you, when you uh, bring on the morning wood? That's all they're doing. Stick Bayless. Stick Bayless. Stick Bayless. I love it. That's his new that name. Stick Bayless. Stick Bayless. Uh, stick Bayless. Stick. Make sure that you guys are checking him out in the morning wood every I'm sorry, I love weekday. You, no, don't be sorry, Maz. I said I love you. That's all. Just shut up. No, I'm okay. not shutting up. You we're tell me to shut up break. one more time. We're we're gonna take a break so that we'll both see what of happens. these guys I guess we can will. Just calm down. By the way, Ohio State, you blow. They're down four points. I got him going to the final four. Don't lose to Oral Roberts. <laughs> All right, what is that? Who's better than me? I am. <laughs> when Pete we Weber, come Pete back, Pete going out. when we come back, we have got some pit <laughs> boss with D Mac. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. And make sure that you are joining in the conversation on our social media at Woodward Sports. You're turning, you're tuning into the oh. hook on Woodward Sports Network. Strike to claim it. A strike to claim it. And he 